Okay, Libby Kim's in here. Got my safety gloves on. Alright, and we are playing with 120 volts. So, being safe. Glasses, too. Never know when something's going to short and pop. Never a good thing. So, anyway, I did make a Star Delta Starter video the other day, and but it is completely inaccurate because I didn't know much about it at the time I made it. I just thought it sounded cool when it clicked on. So, I have rebuilt it uh, completely. I even have the wires that would go to a motor that I don't have. So, um, and then I'll explain how it works. Um, I will show you the schematic, but that might be a copyright issue. Um, anyway, so basically, the line would come in through these three, um, through the main contactor. This is the contactor that controls the line. Um, and then this would, uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No. Okay, yes. It would come in through here. And then go through, and this would go to one side of the motor's phases. Uh, that's, that's line, of course. And then it comes through on the other side here, and this would be delta, but, uh, this is star, this makes it star, that's not three that would click it together, but that's two and then one, which wouldn't touch until that's closed, so I used a two-pole contactor, um, but, so, these three would have lines going to the motor, these three would also tap and go to the motor, and that would make it star, this makes it delta, and this makes, or this just turns it on itself. Um, this relay is controlling uh, the contactors over here. Um, this one latches, and then that relay turns off, which doesn't allow electricity to go through it, but it stays latched until the main electricity, or the, the main line is released. Um, on this side, this clicks over when the relay does, which is controlled by this timer relay. And this is also, uh, this is Y, and this pretty much shorts one side of the phases out on the motor, um, or at least it looks like it's on a, on a schematic, but, um, and that gives you star, and then this converts it. This clicks out, and this clicks in to convert to delta. So, um, we're going to run it up. Uh, it is set about the time that a normal one would. Uh, that is the relay that controls all the contactors over here. Um, and then this is the ter terminal strip hooked up to 120 volts, which I'm actually running through my Variac for no reason, um, to control the contactors. This one is 12 volts DC. These are 12 volts DC, and it's running on a power supply. I would, I'd hook it up to a thermostat, but I don't have an outlet that these can go in that it can control. Um, so, here we go. Oh, uh, these small blue squares in the middle, if you watch closely, they are what pushes in and indicates if it's on or not. So, here we go. That was a bit fast. Well, hold on. Should be a little better. Okay. Now let's try it. This one has a noisy coil. I'm sorry, but I like it. <laughs> Alright, 
That's that, and the timer relay. And then the main relay. And this would usually be controlled by a thermostat going through a small relay, but uh, I didn't have a relay that had more than two contacts that I could control it anyway, and I didn't have a plug, so that's, that's alright. But uh, hopefully I'll buy a panel for this soon. Um, of course it has to be a pretty big one, since these contactors are uh, 7 inches tall, and I think it was like... Uh, I forget how wide they are, but uh, it has to be a big panel to fit everything. So, I'll figure it out. Anyway, Logie Cam 10 signing out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions about this setup. Um, please do ask, but uh, do not try this at home because all these open wires is just a uh, electrocution hazard everywhere. This is not up to code whatsoever. Uh, it's just a little hookup. So, yeah. Well, you can't attend signing out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, don't try this at home unless you really know what you're doing. Bye.